all right so we're back once again today and today as you can probably guess we're going to be discussing coal ships more specifically we're going to be discussing how long how much of a grind it's actually going to be before you can get that coal ship you really want whether it be something like the thunder the georgia the well i was going to say the jean bard but it's not in the armory anymore but ships like that um so before we get started i want to actually touch on a couple of things um there's a couple of assumptions that i'm going to make throughout the video the first of which being is that you're not going to get coal from clan bonuses and you're not going to get coal from ranked um and i don't think you get coal from clan battles but i could be wrong on that um so yeah no clan battles no ranked because i thought about including it but then it's just too wishy-washy some people don't play ranked other people aren't in a clan some people don't do both some people do do both so I thought I would just do a baseline and that way if you get more coal than usual or if you play ranked or if you if you're in a clan then you know um, it'll go a little bit quicker for you so my aim is just basically to create a baseline that you can you know um, that you can reliably predict the length of time is going to take um, another little assumption that I want to throw in is that the base amount of XP so if you look to the right here you can see that the first crate of the day drops at 2000 xp the second crate drops at 12500 xp and the third crate drops at 37000 xp so i'm going to start off with assuming that you get 1500 xp um, per game that's total now again 1005 xp 1500 xp that's quite a lot um, by anyone's metric really well is I, I thought is it i thought maybe if you're running a couple of flags if you've got a camo it might not be all that much actually and i was kind of thinking about dropping to a thousand xp but then i looked at my previous games and generally generally i thought 1500 would be a fair metric um, if you have a really good game, you can easily get 2,000, 3,000 XP. Um, if you have a bad game, you can probably drop, you can probably be like get 500 XP, um, probably at least. So I think 1,500 is probably a decent midway um, between having those good games and having those bad games and having those average games. So with that being said, let's say you want to get crates for the day and you want to see how long it's going to take each day to get said crates. So, in order to get one crate for the day, obviously 1,500 1, XP um, divided into 2,000 gives you 1.3, but again, it's going to be two games. Because you're obviously going to round up. You know, you can't play 0.3 of a game. Um, even though some of my teammates often try to. Um, so, the, again, then the next crate's going to be 12,500. That's going to take you nine point well nine games roughly i think it runs at about 8.3 uh, something like that so again if you're aiming for two crates it's going to take you about nine games in a day three crates if you're going for three crates in a day it's going to be about 25 games easily all together which is a hell of a lot of time so again if we translate that into time so to get one container it's going to be 30 minutes Two containers, it's going to take about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes. And for three containers, it's going to take six hours and 30 minutes. Just straight playing time. That doesn't include actually starting up the game. It doesn't include actually getting into a game or getting out of a game. Um, and I basically guesstimated the average game time of about 15 minutes. Um, so that's 15 minutes of actual playing to get the XP. Mm, so again, take these numbers. These are being generous. These are generous numbers. Um, they're not the absolute values. They're not the. They're obviously not going to be 100% accurate. You can never predict how long a game is going to be. Um, but with that being said, I just want to give a perspective of how long it takes to get each amount of crates per day. So with that being said, um, the next thing I want to touch on is the actual ship um, that I based this on. So if we go out of the armory or out of the um, container port, as I like to call it, and go into the armory. All right, so I base this generally on both the Georgia and the Thunder, which I already have. Both these ships go for 228,000 coal. And I thought that was a fair balance of like a long-term ship you could actually aim for. I think, you know, focusing on the lower tier ships that are only like 
fifty thousand coal or forty nine thousand coal wouldn't really give. I don't think it's going to give you a fair perspective of the grindiness of coal in general in the game. So that's what I'm sticking with. Obviously now, um, as we go back to the resource containers, obviously now, keep in mind that this calculation still works for other ships or other coal amounts. You're just going to have to scale the ratios down a little bit. So the ratios still stick. It's just that the coal amount or the final coal amount you have to aim for is obviously less. And as a result, it's going to take less time. Or if the coal amount is greater, you see the sale on there was for like 240,000 coal. Eh, you have to scale it up a little bit to get, you know, the average amount of time it's going to take you to get to Salem. So with that being said, the containers I'm going for are the resource containers. Now you, you can get 400 coal, you can get 800 coal, or you can get 1200 coal, as I'll show you with this little diagram I'm going to pop up right here. Um, now I don't, I'm not sure of the drop rates of the coal. Um, I don't really want to speculate on that because more often than not, it just turns out to be flat wrong. Or any speculation I'd have would be probably way off. So with that being said, I created this little um, um, matrix where <clears throat> you can actually input how many containers you get per day with how much coal you got in each container and that will give you a baseline of how many days it's going to take. Now I'm going to leave the calculation for yourself to do but if you take the amount of days shown in this matrix and then multiply that by the amount of time it's going to take you per day to get that many containers then you're going to have the absolute time it's going to take to get that amount of coal, i.e. 228,000 coal. So, that being said, let me just run through these numbers and then we'll get to a discussion on the actual um, realistic or the um, how I feel about this a little bit. So for one container, and if you, get, if you play one container a day, which is two games a day, and you get 400 coal in each of those containers, you're going to have 570 days. It's going to take you over a year to get a Georgia or a Thunder something like that which is pretty horrific if you get 800 coal it halves obviously so you get 285 days and again if you add on another 400 coal for each of those crates it's going to take 190 days you can really see the effect that the 1200 coal per container actually has has on the um, the grindiness of this actual ship climb that being said if you want to, if you get two containers per day and you play for two and a half hours, give or take, it's going to take you 285 days if you get 400 coal in each one. It's going to take you 143 days if you get 800 coal in each one. And it's going to take you 95 days if you have 1200 coal in each one. 95 days is about three months, which is a fairly significant amount of time. And that's a big if, getting 1200 coal in each and uh, two containers per day. Um, for three containers, if you want to play for six and a half hours per day, for 400 coal, which is probably the most likely outcome, it's going to take you 190 days. For 800 coal, it's going to take you 95 days. And for 1200 coal, it's going to take you 64 days of straight playing. And again, 64 days is still two months of time. So it's really significant. Um, in general, I feel this is a pretty tough grind. It's something you definitely want to do passively and not actually focus on. And I said, again, I excluded ranked and clan bonuses here because, again, there's, there's just too many variables to take into account. But again, they will speed up the process. So again, take these numbers with a pinch of salt. Generally, I think sitting somewhere between the 400 coal numbers and the 800 coal numbers is probably a good place to be because you're going to get some containers that are 800 coals on days and you're going to get most containers that are 400 coal. So Taking the number between the 570 and the 285, or the 285 and the 143, or the 119 and the 85, is probably the best way to go. Um, that being said, you're always going to get some containers that have 1200 coal, but they're going to be few and far between. So, overall, I think it's definitely probably one of the worst grinds. I think, from just from a pure numbers perspective, I think the only thing that's worse is probably steel. Um, and even then, steel might not be as bad depending on how many rank seasons there is, or not rank seasons, but, well, yeah, rank seasons and uh, clan battles. But, again, it's definitely something to be done passively, definitely not the main focus of playing the game, but I think it's just interesting to give some perspective on, you know, the different um, the different uh, 
aspects of the game and uh, how they play into each other. So, with that being said, I hope you find this useful. I'll leave, I think I might leave the actual little matrix either in the description or in a comment below if you find it useful. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you maybe learned something and I'll see you in the next one.